Thank you for stopping by. This is Truth Goddess Row 777. Hello. Today's read will be for Sag. Just for Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. All right. Remember, like, comment, and share the videos. All right. Let's begin, Sag. The bottom of the deck shows a main man. Hmm. Something about a main man that like that <coughs> they don't want this out. In the near future, would like to visit a, a, a mature woman, right? This main man, here it is, both. This main man is planning or hoping to reach out to a woman in a long in the near future this person may not live in your community this person is not a family member but the universe is saying they're a false person so whoever this person is they're false they're dealing with bad health they're trying to overcome a bad health situation that involves some of the work that they did this person is also poverty stricken and again their path has been has ended their path and their okay their path to overcoming poverty is something that they're hoping that would end a cycle for them so it says that this person is receiving karma this is why they're in their mind they may have done some work that will bring them to an ending where it comes to possibly dying in jail in their mind in prison in in a physical death this is a person that may pass on in jail incarcerated whoever this person is this person would like to reach out to you male or female take the energies as they apply but you have guardian angels that are providing guidance and strength and the ability to always keep you one step ahead while you live a stress-free life from this person. Yeah. This is somebody that, um, that has a lot of hatred in their heart. Wow. So this person has a lot of hate in their heart. They're tied up. They're bound. Oh, and they're broken hearted. They're, they have a broken heart. But the angel of love is protecting you. 300 zero, zero, as I speak that. That's an angel number. So this person is dealing with a lot of things that are weighing them down. This is a person that... Oh, wow. What is this? these cards they're sleeping with someone else they aren't even working over time but they're working for sure so this is a person that's not working but they're working with someone sexually obviously wow someone is trying to sabotage your relationship is it them so this is a person that's working but the work that they're doing is unproductive when it comes to their life um this person is in a situation in which they're living out a karmic cycle but going forward yeah this is a person that at the bottom of this deck they're looking to come towards you this person is looking to take a journey they're stalling they're thinking they're contemplating. This person is definitely contemplating. And it seems that they'd like to either give you a gift or the fact that you are the gift. This is why they would like to take a journey towards you. Yeah, this is something that you're going to hear about. There's some news. Hmm, there's a letter, a message, an email. This person would like to say something to you this is their future plans this person has 
is looking at a few at their future the future travels this may be you you're focusing on your future and how your destiny will play out saddies you're looking at how things may come and go or how people in and out of your life have become people that were very dark and sinister these are people that are in regret so there are people that are looking at their future hoping to change the fact that they were in and out of your life how they are trying to balance their life from taking a chance when it came to their future with others so that's what's going on there yeah this person is in the king of cups energy but there's justice remember i just said there's justice there's enough blame to go around this person there's balance there's justice there's peace and equality when it comes to success um for you this person there's a person that's very determined this person has a lot of passion for you with the knight of wands so there's somebody that has a lot of passion that would like to reach out to you but we're going to find out some other energies here sag let's see what else what else does sag need to know so there's somebody that's looking at their future and how they miss their blessing being indecisive juggling going in and out not being stable this person is trying to find balance in their life but they're finding it very difficult to do so that's the truth that's a fact so somebody is struggling it's like this person is media so they're watching on social media some of you guys will step into the spotlight and you will be seen if you're not already so you are being seen the work that you do wow don't allow your talent to go unnoticed so step into the spotlight and get seen hmm a career in television radio magazine <clears throat> and any mass media job would be perfect for you guys so it seems that your future is looking very bright so the fact that your future is bright and the fact that you are on social media if you're not you need to be this will be a blessing then it will help balance your life and it will no longer become something that you would regret it's, it wouldn't be something you would regret so they're saying that your future looks really bright but you would need to incorporate to change some things around to remove any kind of sadness that you may be dealing with so we have somebody that sees you on social media and they have their very argumentative but i want to clarify that five of cups so somebody is in regret because they see you popping and popping on social media or your platform whatever platform you have somebody sees that you're able to balance to do a lot clarify the five of cups so somebody is watching you up oh, wow and again you have harmony and peace balance you're able to maintain and somebody has come to a realization that you having this ability and talent to do a multitude of things and you're holding on to it so the universe is bringing you balance they're saying that there's other things that you could do to kind of allow you to recover from regret or sadness or depression or a loss of something or maybe some of you guys may have lost a job maybe you were 
in this energy in which you are trying to do a lot of things. It may be something you lost kind of control over something, but this was to bring you balance so that you could either hold on or let go of a person, place, or thing. So if there was something or someone that left your life, it was for your good. Clarify the four pinnacles. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is somebody who you had to let go. This, this was a, a person that never had true love. This is a person that's cold, detached, uncaring, very withdrawn. Uh, I have never, since I've been doing tarot, seen a king of cups in reverse. That's pretty different. Remember, I said this is a person or someone that's filled with a lot of hate. This person may be from Texas, live in Texas, but they're heart, heartbroken. Okay, the king, this is this person. So they're in regret. This person is in regret because they were in and out juggling, holding on, not being balanced, not being honest and truthful to you. This person should have held on to you and instead they worked on trying to break your heart. This person is jealous because they really truly had a lot of hate in their heart they tried to break your heart so they did this these things to try to affect your fortune to try to affect the chance that you would have a future so they worked overtime to try to break your heart yeah up oh, the evil eye this is a person that was doing spell work dark magic things that try to affect you so this person if a lot of you guys are on social media. I don't care. Don't put in the comments, oh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. If you're not, you're under a rock. And that means by any means of using a social media platform. You can have any type of platform that people are seeing you. This is a person is hating the fact that them doing love spells, dark spells, hate spells, all kind of spells... To, because they had jealousy and envy in their heart. This person was holding on to the fact that they are jealous that you are an earth angel. This person sees that. So they were trying to go against you with all type of way, all type of ways to inform enforce their wickedness against an earth angel. I feel like this person was informed by the universe to let go and not hold on to any type of um, hurt or destructive ways to try to harm you. This person was paying people to try to affect your fortune. This is something that would affect you in, in your future, but it didn't work. That's why they're in the Five of Cups. So in reality, some of you guys initially, as I stated, you guys may have been dealing with the fact, dealing with someone that had behind the scenes really hatred for you. And it's sad because this is a person, for someone to be up under you, and have a sense of jealousy and envy and they had no pure love for you this person is someone that is very emotionally unbalanced they were unavailable when it came to how they connected with you they were insensitive and very immature so now this person is realizing them doing all the spell work dark magic trying to keep you off balance they didn't want to show you any love this person realizes that you held back your love from this person as well but you are on social media you're somebody that hmm somebody would like to cause a fight in a conflict with you if you are online Somebody is wanting to be, and they have been very persistent. There is something better. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, there's somebody, again, there's somebody that sees you on your any kind of platform that you may have. This is a person that creates drama or has, and they were very persistent with it, just like over here. This person is very evil. This person is jealous. They're heartbroken because you're independent and they realize that you know there is something better and it's not them. So you got a hater. You got somebody that's very jealous, envious, malicious, and in denial as to realizing that you will not rescue them with them and their legal problems or issues, things that this person is dealing with. The universe is dealing out justice for you and judgment on them. This person and you are being liberated and free from this individual. This is why this person was holding on to you because of their emotionally immature ways of thinking. This is a person that refused, refused to show you in a, any kind of true passion but now they this is how simple and sick this individual is so they really don't really fuck with you i'm just going to be very frank this is somebody that's a crazy individual who's sick as hell so they don't like you they really aren't they've never been kind to you they never showed you any real passion this is a person that's disturbed. They're on the wrong path to self-destructing, self being self-destructive to themselves. So this is why they're in the Five of Cups energy. The thing is, this person wanted to have a plan to try to cause your life throughout your time on this earth. This person wanted to be just a fucking nuisance. This is a sick ass individual, but don't worry. Something in your life needs to be brought into alignment hmm, in your life. So there's justice. So there's something that needs to be aligned in your life. Not only in your personal life, but it looks like your career life as well. If there's a job or if there's something that you guys are holding on because you believe that it's giving you stability and balance and harmony, the universe is advising for you to let it go because it's causing you to feel unbalanced. You're not happy. Some of you guys, again, may be working a job, may be doing something that's not pleasurable to you anymore, and you're wanting to release it. They're saying once you do that, you will be happy. You do not have to hold on to a person, a place, a thing that's causing you to feel outside of yourself. And that's making you sad with the Five of Cups. Let's find out some other things. And back to someone who was giving you the evil eye. This person feels like a fool because them planning out to try to deceive you by being cold and detached was a tactic but the universe guided you to show you that your future is much brighter and as you've walked away from this person you were able to expand your world and do a multitude of things this is why this person is in the five of cups energy and again a lot of you guys will be traveling the world for your future with the king of swords that's the truth you are someone that's very um someone that has a lot of high standards you're very disciplined um again you're somebody that you're going to have this new financial beginning a new financial opportunity and a new job so as i stated you guys the truth is you guys are going to you're going to get a new opportunity, a job, or something that's going to be close by to you, even though Gemini is your polar opposite sign. So some of you guys may be traveling. Wow. Some of you guys are going to be doing some long distance traveling that will increase your, uh, your money, your income. And this is, okay. So you guys, a lot, some of you, not all of you will be in the near future. You're going to be traveling the world. In which you're going to be in and out of the country 
different countries. Yep, right here. Morocco, Wales, Sweden, Belgium. A lot of you guys are going to be, with the work that you're doing, you're not going to be stable, Sag. And that's, that's why the Texas card is here. So a lot of you guys are going to be traveling a distance, short and far. And it's going to bring you true abundance. Your whole world is going to change in which, again, you're going to be going out of the country. You're going to be working in and out, traveling in and out of different countries. It's going to make a lot of people sad. This is going to bring you happiness and balance. As you do this traveling, you will be protected. The universe is advising that you're going to accept this opportunity. You're going to hold on. It's going to help increase your life in a full way. This will bring a lot of unhappiness to those that are trying and have been giving you the evil eye. This is what the universe is saying. So, wow, Sagis. This, this, this read did a whole new 360. Yeah, a lot of you guys will be in a professional position in which you will be wearing designer suits, designer clothing. And again, this is true. Yep. Yep, you're going to have to make a decision. And you're able to do this because now you are single, you are free. So there's nothing that can hold you back. So they're saying, get ready because this new change is going to be, be something that will balance your life. This is why the two of pentacles is here. Yep. Also in your romantic life. So again, you're going to meet somebody that you're going to be traveling a distance. This person will live a distance from you. This person is very beautiful, handsome, attractive. They see you that way. Yeah. And this is going to affect your solar plexus which is about your drive your willpower and your freedom to be oneself and this is what the universe is saying you guys your future is going to look so different it is not going to be the way you are living it right now a lot of you guys you have to look outside of just what's happening for you right at this particular time right now right today it, it, it's it's hard to see it but if you believe if you truly believe that the universe is here to protect you with this seven house of Libra so this is the second time Libra is out here again so this is all true you're going to get balance and peace and harmony once you accept an opportunity that your future will be so bright it's going to be a true committed position a job, a career, a marriage, or one-on-one -on -one relationship with people. You're going to be socializing. You're going to be in some sort of courtship. You're going to have business dealings. You're going to, there's going to be some things in which you guys will be dealing with possible legal situations. If not you, somebody else, but the legality, legalities that you'll be dealing with, this will be with contracts, business deals, contracts. So again, it's about foreign travels. These foreign travels are going to give you the balance that you are looking to have when it comes to your work life and your love life. That's the truth. Yep. Yep. Now, there's other people that will be heartbroken because they were trying to steal away your happiness. But because you are true and loyal to your cause, the fact that you are somebody that is, okay, inspired, there are people that are uninspired. And this is a lover with the King of Cups in reverse. So there's somebody that's a lover that's uninspired. This person wouldn't take a trip across the street. You're in the Queen of Cups energy. You're also in this energy, male or female, in which you're going to be in this King of Pentacles energy. That's the truth with the King Queen of Swords. So you have the King and the Queen of Swords. So the truth is you're going to be meeting a King of Cups a king of pentacles and again libra keeps coming out and which will balance 
your life. This is going to be a powerful connection. It will have and be a new beginning. This is going to be some great news for you guys. And it may occur for some of you, not all of you, within the next six months. And I hate to give times because it really, a lot of times people, you know, they get all upset. And here we go with the world core coming out here twice. So this is about your success and achievements and accomplishments and travel. So things, these things that you're going to be doing in your future with the three of wands, you're going to be inspired to accept a position a partnership, a love connection in which you're going to be traveling. You, go, you guys are going to not be stable wherever you are. You're not just going to be sitting in one city, state, or country. This is if you are inspired to move forward with this. If you don't, you may regret it. That's where the Five of Cups is coming. They're saying, take a chance, be inspired. Know that your angels are always with you. Hold on to that dream that you had about traveling the world a lot of you guys wanted to travel the world now you're going to have an opportunity in which the universe will protect you and guide you so that you do have this opportunity so it's like you're getting a second chance to complete a cycle 26 26 as i said said that and that turns into the number eight so the portals are opening the universe is advising for you guys to open your mind open your heart manifest meditate believe in yourself and believe in in your dreams because they are about to open up for you guys we're going to be going but that's the read this is a great read you're going to have to trust in the universe with all your willpower and drive to know that you will be free to be oneself so in other words you won't be you guys especially as a Sagittarius you won't be idle sitting back in one space in one situation even when it comes to relationships you're going to meet people all over the world yeah this is this is your gift this is your gift this is your gift as a Sag, you're going to be traveling the world. You're going to expand your life, meet new people, see different places, different types of cultures, which will increase your money. Wow. And love. I cannot make this up, Sagis. I'm telling you, this is what's going to happen. Wow. This is your gift. So your money and your love life, as I just stated, is definitely going to increase. You're going to travel, you guys. There's the course to prove it for some of you, not all of you. Now, we're going to close. Hmm. Yep. This is, And here we go again with the world court. I heard three times. So this is an accomplishment that you will definitely encounter with the yellow card which again is matching the solar plexus energy so your life is going to be very bright your future is going to be looking fantastic we have the war cord out here three times this is your gift the universe is going to bless you with love and money you that's it that's the read sagittarius we're going to close out just know these are opportunities that you have manifested as an alchemist this kind of sounds like the read i just did you guys go back and look at the last three reads that i just did grief there's going to be people that will be sad remorseful filled with a lot of grief because you, again the alchemist this is who you are you are a powerful alchemist you are going to manifest your way and you have out of the lives of those that betrayed you. So your life is about to change in the most amazing way, Sag. These people are filled with a lot of grief, jealousy, envy. But they they will have to watch as your life change in the most fantastic way. And this card says it the most. 
pleasure. This is what I'm telling you guys. Your life is about to do a 360. Again, thank you again for stopping by Sagittarius. And it will be filled with a lot of joy. I saw. Bye.